G'day and welcome to the next module where we look at subtraction facts for Year 3 students. The first uh, thing we're going to do is the pre-test of course, so this will test what the students already know of their subtraction facts and then we'll move on to the first strategy. The first strategy is counting back by one or two, it mirrors the first edition strategy of counting on. So we can use similar methods, we will invite students to count backwards in their head, we'll let them use uh, number lines to count backwards and so on. It's really not very difficult. I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry. Um, we do also include difference of one or two questions like 10 take away eight. We're not going to ask students to count backwards by eight, but we will say what is the difference between those two? So they re need to really know the fact 10 take away two before you can ask what's 10 take away 8, it's a sort of a turnaround of that subtraction fact. But it also works well on the number line because you can see 10 and 8 on the number line and then ask how big is the gap between them or how many hops are there, how many spaces are there. It's important we don't say how many numbers because there's only one number between them but the difference is 2. It's that sort of fence post and gap sort of question. 10 frames work well as always for visualising the numbers. Um, one nice thing about the 10 frame is if you are subtracting 2, if you start with an even number like 8, obviously it's going to be an even number when you've taken away 2. And similarly with odd numbers, taking away 2 and taking away 1 will switch between odd and even. So I think that's all I've got to say. Welcome back and uh, I look forward to talking to you in the next strategy where we count back 3.